apparently. Legend has it that the Last of Us director wanted to trick audiences into watching gay romance. He didn't trick me though. I have immunity. You see, the moment I watched the trailer and I saw that they did one race swap, just one, I started thinking, won't watch this. Da, 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 ba, ba, won't watch this. Da, 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 da. I am immune to your trickery, director. What can you do? You have no power here. <laughs> but really, uh, trickery. In 2023, I expect that every single movie has a checkbox. I expect that there's going to be gay robot. If you did this in the 80s, okay. It's 2023, motherfucker. Get on with the times. No one cares. Like every single TV show, without exception, that's coming out now has a gay character. Like you're, the, the thing that blows my mind is that they're pretending that this is not the case. They're pretending that they're reinventing the wheel. It's like someone coming out and saying, hey, I invented the wheel. And everyone's like, oh my God, so stunning, so brave. And then someone else comes out, hey, I invented the wheel. How many uh, first gay characters did Disney have? Like, Google it. That's actually funny because it's part of marketing now. But the thing that really annoyed me is not what he's talking about. It's not the gay robots itself. Like, that's not what I'm carrying. But, but like, the thing that really annoyed me is um, re reading about this. Sneaking the shredded carrots into the brownie trick. So, basically, these directors... They're thinking of you like a child, okay? You're not a mature adult. You're immature. You're a type of child that does pee-pee caca in his panties. Right? And, and the director is the only mature adult in the room. And they are there to educate you. They are there to help you improve. That's their mentality. If you watch their movies, that's what they think of you. It's astonishing, isn't it? Right? So, what's even more interesting is that He's talking about how he tricked audiences, and if you scroll down in the article, look what you get. Homophobes are review bombing the latest episode. Get the fuck out. Every single TV show that's coming out right now has gay characters, and there are TV shows that are not review bombed. So maybe, just maybe, they're review bombing it for different reasons. I don't know. I haven't watched it. But I assume the main reason that it may not be faithful to the IP that you're using. So you're baiting people. You're, you're using the bait and switch and this is probably why fans who feel as if they have wasted their time thinking that they're going to get the IP that you promised them and you're giving something else, that's why they're review bombing it. Plus the condescending attitude. It's like, oh, I'm better than you. I am the educated human. You are the child, the petulant child. Whining and lashing out at my beautiful masterpiece. At least that's how it feels. And I have a feeling that the reason they keep adding these gay romances in in 2023, again, when it's normalized, like no one cares. But the reason they're adding them in is so that they can deflect any type of criticism to this. Right? Like, no matter how your review sounds, no matter how well-intentioned and educated it is, they're going to say, oh, it's out of homophobia. Right? Like, sweep it under the rug. It's the bait and switch. Again, people are saying that uh, this TV show is not that bad. But that doesn't set a high bar enough for me to stop watching anime. The, the moment I know something is good is when I see memes of it. Right? So if I'm on Twitter and memes of something start popping up, I'm like, okay, th this might actually be good. And then I start watching it. If I don't see any memes, it means it's not interesting enough for people to waste their time, make a meme, and start sharing it. There is an exception, of course. It's like when something is so fucking bad... That they make memes about it anyway. But that's, you know, like, you know, you know it's that type of meme. Like, you're aware that, that you definitely should not watch it. Like, for example, Velma. Like, Velma has a lot of memes. <laughs> but I would not watch Velma. Like, that is punishment. That's a good way of educating children, by the way. If they're not, you make them watch Velma. Let me know what you guys think, and I will see you in the comment section. Take care.